Well, if the past is prologue, then it was pretty much deja vu all over again here in D.C. as Gamma reflected on the state of general aviation industry. Bottom line, things are improving, but still very slowly. We expect it. And, and that's because looking back over years of history, <clears throat> we think that the build rate for piston aircraft and turbine aircraft is sort of unsusta unsustainably low because the fleet is shrinking. And at some point, that shrinkage should prop up OEM production. And in fact, manufacturers shipped nearly 10% more piston engine aircraft last year, a total of 1,129. Business jets continue to do well. The light and mid-sized jets are doing the best. Is it any surprise with the U.S. economy recovering where that in North America we have the most robust infrastructure for lights and mids? Yeah, we would expect that to follow uh, the fortunes of, of the U.S. economy because that's where we have those 5,000 plus airfields that we have access to. Rudercraft deliveries were way off, down about 24 percent, and turboprop deliveries were down too. But Hartzell Chief Brown says his customers are now acting like they have good order books for piston engine airplanes, and he predicts a big rebound for turboprops. So I, I think we're beginning to see that, and the numbers show some piston recovery. On the turboprop side, our thesis is that the utility of a turboprop is so good that as global markets grow, turboprop sales will grow, period, whether that's China, India, what have you. And so I'm very bullish on turboprops over time, and there's a lot of investment going into turboprop technology to make aircraft better, and a lot of big companies with a lot of engineering horsepower are investing in turboprop technology. So I'm pretty bullish, but we're about twice as patient as we expected to be. And you can delve deep into the numbers on our website, that's aopa.org.